Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always my name is Lee also known as Osiris. In today's episode we are continuing on with our VGC series 10 content. It's been a little while and I do realize the content has been a little dry over the last couple of weeks. Hopefully this week we've got some teams lined up planned so we'll be back to a, a bit more of a regular schedule. Had a lot going on outside of the channel the last couple of weeks so it's meant that I haven't had as much time to kind of concentrate on teams and, and content and things. So looking forward to that. Hopefully jumping in doing some streams this week as well. So keep an eye out for those and we are on the back of the 25th uh anniversary celebration invitational uh from this past weekend which was incredible really enjoyed it uh, at least the games that i saw big congratulations to santino and what a team he brought and obviously as well the talk of the town is rare Rizzo coming back and uh having that kind of uh exhibition exhibition match if i can even say that word Exhi exhibition exhibition match with santino which was really cool to see um so how do we even come off the back of that event with all these worlds, world champions, world players uh, coming in with all these teams? Well, uh, I could do the rental cards, but they're there. They're going to be there to use. We saw them piloted by the best people to pilot them in that event. So I don't feel like I really want to bring those teams to the channel because we kind of know what they're about. So what can we do a little bit different? Well, this week we've got some teams that are lined up that are going to be probably things that you haven't seen too much of in the format and um, so hopefully you do enjoy it a little bit different i have said that i'll try and bring uh, a bit more variety to the channel other than uh rillaboom incineral which we've been talking about so today we're kicking off with dustman necrozma one of my all-time favorite restrictors i think it's incredibly good i think the weakness policy is an item since dynamax has kind of gone away is, is kind of shared away as well hand in hand those items kind of uh, and abilities kind of go together uh, but Duskman with its prism armor does have the ability to really take advantage of that and we've got a bit of a fun team today we've got a nice fire water grass core in incineral we do need intimidate unfortunately i'm not putting uh, arcanine in here it would work potentially with the psychic train that we got but making up the Firewater Grass Call with the Primarina and then Bomber Snort. A Bomber Snort under Trick Room can do a lot of work. Do have a little bit of a fire weakness kind of going on there, but Incineral Primarina kind of handle that pretty well. Uh, Mimikyu going to be a secondary Trick Room setter in this team. Also helps proc the weakness policy on Duskman with the Shadow Sneak. And then we've got a bit of redirection and terrain control with the Indeedy. So... All in all, I think the team is pretty fun. I hope you enjoy it if you do try it. As always, the poker beers will be down in the description below. And if you stick around till the end of the episode, we'll throw up the rental code for this team. So without further ado, friends, let's jump in, have a couple of games, show you how the team pilots, and hopefully we come across a few meta teams that uh, we can do some work again. So without further ado, sit back, hope you enjoyed today's episode, and uh, we'll get into game one. Okay, first match today is, oh God, what is this? Shuckle, Indeedy Mail, Umbrian, Dragon. Dragonite, Kyogre, and Sinchino, or Sinchino, however we're pronouncing that one. Um, a Kyogre-centric team, got the Dragonite on there. Uh, brr, what are we looking at, really? Maybe Scarf and Didi? I don't know. Uh, the terrain is kind of interesting. Shuckle is a little bit frustrating, what, whatever situation you're in. Um, I think Primarina going to be incredibly strong here, uh, in all honesty. It can deal with majority of things on my opponent's team. I'm going to be guessing what the, the Shuckle is going to be doing in this match. I think Trick Room really kind of benefits us. Um, and Dustman isn't too bad, really. Uh, I think we have to watch out for Yawn from the Umbrian. But again, I think we go Mimikyu. The Crossma. Do we want our own Ndidi? Probably not. Probably don't need it. Primarina, and then we'll bring the Abomber as well, I think, because Abomber does so good against Kyogre and Dragonite. Abomber Snow, such a good Pokemon, cool Pokemon, has a really rough time, never really gets to see much usage, but I do really like it, I do really like it, it's one of my all-time favourites, you know, 2010, bit of a throwback here, uh, I ran on that team that year, and it did phenomenally well for me, won the, uh, my top, top 32 game, hands down. Um, so, Chuckle Kyogre. What is this? I mean, we can set our trick room if we want. Uh, I think the best thing, obviously, we don't want to get spanked with like a water spout here from the Kyogre. Um, does Shuckle get speed swap? Is it going? Is it going to do that? Who knows? We'll go for a trick room. Um, and then we'll just protect. We'll protect Necrozma because, we, like I say, we don't want to take a water spout. Mimikyu got the disguise there, so it can take it pretty well. 
Um, what a lead. What a lead. Starting off the week like this. <laughs> Hopefully as we go on, it will get better. But we're kind of seeing a lot of these kind of weird teams at the minute. But I guess it makes it a little bit more entertaining. So protect from the Kyogre. It is faster than the Cosmo, which is good. Sticky web. There we go. Slowing us down. Love to see it. Especially for this um, this trick room. Because what Sticky Web does is when we switch in, I think it lowers our speed. Uh, but we can use Shadow Sneak and a Cosma. Um, and we'll just go for the four tone guys at into Kyogre. That should knock it out at plus two. Should do. Don't know what this Shuffle's about to, to, to do though. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll ignore the Shuffle for a little while. We'll try and get rid of the big restricted first. Uh, like, Shuckle's not really threatening a knockout on anything right now, whereas Kyogre is. So we'll, we'll concentrate down on that. It's like self-explanatory in this situation, you know. Um, but, let's see. Kyogre's going to withdraw. Whatever comes in, as it's dark, it's going to take an Apu. Well, I think it probably goes down with the terrain boost here. And we can still Shadow Sneak ourselves, so... Because it doesn't prevent us doing this, which is always nice. So here we go, off to a a decent-ish start. A stealth rocks as well. Oh my god, it's like the singles, the singles dream players shuckle. Um, like I said, they should probably knock it out. I would imagine. Bye bye. Okay, well, it does survive, but. That's, that's kind of alright. I mean, yeah, they're indeed going to outspeed our Mimikyu for sure. So we'll just play rough into that slot this turn. And we'll go for the Sunsteel Strike and the Shuckle here. And Shuckle going to get another attack off for sure. But my opponent kind of... Like, again, they, they're not really threatening too much. We still got a disguise with Mimikyu. So if the Kyogre comes in, Trick Room does end. Then at least we've got the, the play where we can uh, set the Trick Room up again. Rock Tomb coming out, getting rid of that disguise finally. Lowering our speed, which again helps us out a bunch, right? Um, and we can always make the, the sneaky play of double Trick Room on the last turn of Trick Room. So we'll keep an eye on when the Trick Room is going to expire as well. Get the player up into the Indeedy. It'd be nice to be able to get rid of this Shuckle here with Sunsteel Strike. Oh, not the Sunsteel. It is Sunsteel Strike. I am not incorrect. So, let's see. I wonder, plus two, is it going to be enough? It is enough. There we go. Not even Shuckle can withstand that. So, I was a little bit iffy, you know. Like, Shuckle's pretty strong. Pretty strong defensively. I don't know what its base defense is. It's like 200 or around that figure. Somewhere like that. The Sinchino. Oh, my gosh. Poor Sinchino. Um, does the Kyogre protect here? Let's see what we've got, Trick Room. We've got two turns left. So, we've got... Well, we'll attack this turn. Uh, I mean, what's the Sinchino going to do? It's probably got um, multi multi thing. The, the ability that allows it to hit like five times. But I don't think it's got an attack that can really hit Duskman for great damage. We'll go for the Photon Geyser into Kyogre. And then if they don't protect here, we know they're going to protect if they survive this turn. The next turn, so we could double Trick Room. I mean, we could double Trick Room here. It would make sense to, because it's likely they protect the Kyogre here. Um, no, no Protect. We do miss um, the Sinsino. The Photon Geyser with the uh, Terrain Boost is just ridiculous. And Kyogre not stand a chance. Let's see. Triple Axel coming out. Okay. We're going to hit all three times. I mean, even now. Like, this Mimikyu is so defensive. Anyway, so... Not really too worried about it. Um, should we just do it? Just do it for the joy of doing it. Let's trick room and trick room just to make sure that we get the trick room up again for another four turns. Not that we need it. Okay, battle cancelled. Okay, good game to our opponent. Uh, at least we got to see some of the setup of the team, which was nice. So the general idea of the team and how it kind of is meant to function without the Indeedee there. Uh, very good game to my opponent. And now we will hop straight into game two. Okay, next up today we have a Ice Rider Calyrex, Araquanid, Reggie Alecki, Serena, Tapu Koko, and Mian Chao. 
Right, well, we got a pretty Trick Room-centric team, but then we got a really fast mod on the other side of it, you know, with the Tapu Koko, Reggie Alecki. Gonna be pretty threatening. Uh, and the Mean Shao, or the Man Shao. Um, the one thing I would say is that would cause us maybe a, a few issues would maybe be, obviously we're setting the Trick Room up. Everything that my opponent's got is gonna be slower than us in a Trick Room environment. Um, but then Duskman doesn't really worry too much about Ice Rider. Probably not. Probably not. Um, I worry about Taunt for Mimikyu, although we do have Mental Herb, so I guess we don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, I think we got Mimikyu again. Mimi. Maybe, maybe Incineroar. Yeah, I think Incineroar. Necrozma. Do we want to change the terrain? Or do we want to bring something like Primarina that's going to give us a little bit more stability, firepower? I mean, the other option is we could bring a Bomber Snow. I don't really know what it... I mean, it helps against the Serena, for sure. Um... Uh, let's bring a Bomber. Let's bring a Bomber Snow. It'd be nice to feature it in today's episode. That's the only reason. I think a more sensible option probably would be the Primarina here, but... I think a Bomber Snow can do a good job, especially in the Trick Room. You've got to worry about my opponent reversing the Trick Room as well. If it's more favourable for them to uh, be out of the Trick Room with things like Regilek and Tap Coco. Serena and Aleki. Okay, there we go. This is alright. This is fine. Um, we just part and shot out onto the Aleki, I think. Is it? Yeah, the Aleki's got to attack. I mean, uh, I could see maybe like Volt Switch, Volt Switch from the Aleki, and then Triple Axel into Mimikyu to try and prevent the Trick Room. Make a lot of sense. I think we just partnering shot out onto the Reggie Aleki because it could we could see the uh, the Calyrex come in on that slot. But you kind of want to get, like, yeah, you want to get your Trick Room on, on the field, or... Uh, okay. You go on straight after the Incineroar here. Wouldn't be ideal. Because this will probably take us out. Rising Voltage, here we go. Bye-bye, NC. Oh, we survived with one HP. <laughs> Incineroar denies the uh, the uh, the electric terrain rising voltage life or boosted Reggie Alecki attack. Incineroar's EVs are deadly. Right, this is brilliant for us now because uh, it means that we keep our intimidate, which is so 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 important for us. Uh, we can bring the cross mark to the field. We can get that um, weakness policy activated. Who do I want to attack here though? Probably the Reggie Alecki. Um, kind of don't want to ignore the, the Coco, but Aleki's like, hmm. Let's Shadow Sneak. Coco can't be like scoffed at, like one little bit, you know? Um, I think we send Steel Strike into the Aleki. Okay, we get caught out, caught out by that. Okay. What's the Coco going to do? Let's, let's, let's not see it do too much damage to Necrozma. It's, it's definitely going to smack us around a little bit, I think. Okay. Well, into the Protector. Electro Web. Huh. Okay. Well, we, we'll accept that all day long. Um, do lose our disguise. But... I guess we could just play rough into the, the Coco the next turn. The other option is actually getting something like Bomber Snow out into the field now. Um, and go after... Going after the um, the Aleki again. Because the Aleki is probably likely to switch out. But whatever comes in here is going to get absolutely tanked by the, uh, the Sunsteel Strike. And at least with the Bomber Snow out on the field... We've got a way to kind of just sweep through, you know, the, if the Serena comes back onto the field, then we've got a way to, to deal with that pretty well. 
got to be careful though, because if a Raccoonid's in the back, it makes things a little bit tricky because we kind of need to be out the trick room. Uh, Thunderbolt coming out. Yeah. Take that pretty comfortably. The hail damage is not really the best thing for us, but I mean, in Bomber Snow, we've got Earth Power on it, so we will be able to deal with that Coco the next turn if if we need to to do that, you know. Um, like I say, it just depends if the kit heal Joel. Um, got to worry about potential faint here. Uh, I mean. All it can do is fake us out, right? So I think we go for the Photon Geyser regardless. And we know the Serena's in the back, and that's that's easy. My opponent hasn't brought their Restricted. What was their Restricted, actually? Now that I think about it, I'm like, do we know? Do we know what it was? The only issue is here if Bomber Snow takes a close combat. But if, I mean, if it does, then it means... Uh, Wow, that does like nothing. It's a salt vest coco. Salt vest coco. Yeah, well, we go down to that. That's fine. We can blizzard the next turn. I mean, we have to watch out potentially for wide guard. And then the thunderbolt. So I'm going to do some work. What was my opponent's restrictors here? I'm trying to think. Oh, it was uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. Of course. Of course it was. Uh, okay, Coco coming in, and I mean a Blizzard's gonna win us this game now, so we're not in any any trouble at all. And I guess against like Dustman across me, don't want to bring the Calyrex because it is it is a pretty tough matchup. But this is why I picked it to kick us off this week. I think it's a really good pick in the meta at the minute. I think it does struggle against certain things. Obviously, Shadow Rider gives it a hard time, uh, but that matchup is is manageable. It would have been nice to kind of feature that today, uh, but we will Blizzard. A blizzard and uh, we, well we can't fake out can we We cannot fake out we'll just flare blitz this arena and uh, we've got shadow sneak on Mimikyu if worse comes to worse you know we'll be able to take this arena down here though with a, a combination blizzard flare blitz I'd imagine that uh, will the Coco survive potentially but then I think the the hail will take it down so but the team's done pretty well today pretty well I know we've not faced like super common meta te teams but you know, a lot of the a lot of the parts of, of featuring these teams on the channel, you know, is just getting an idea of how they're meant to function. Then you can, if you want to try them out, they might inspire some ideas where you think, I'll use that, I'll use that idea going forward. Uh, and if not, then it, it, you know, it gives you the, the 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 chance to just try the team out, and at least you know what the functionality of the team is meant to be. So against, I guess, some of these meta teams are getting caught out a little bit by by some of these um, builds that were. were doing it makes it a little bit easier to uh to get some of the, the the strategies off and things like that if that makes sense serena are you gonna get a um are you gonna get are you gonna try and get a bonus kill against this incineral It'd be very sad if you take down the bomber snow i want the bomber snow to get to get this kill here i feel like it deals with uh serena pretty well you gotta watch out for high jump kick of course but I mean, with things like that, that this is yeah. Just, just doing it for the sake of doing it. And Blizzard coming out. Blizzard's such a strong move as well. So there we go. A bomber snow doing some work for the channel. We love to see it. We love to see it. And uh, again, good game to my opponent. Uh, a little bit uh, of a bad matchup for my opponent there, of course. So we have to take that into consideration. But we will wrap things up now, friends, and we'll jump over and get you the rental code for today's team. Right, and obviously because I will be sharing a bunch of new teams this week, it is meaning that I am going to be taking down the teams that are currently up and that were featured in previous videos. So they've been up for two weeks now. We'll try and keep these new ones up for two weeks, and that's the cycle that will go on. So if you're watching all the content but seeing this, I guess, uh, hopefully that explains it and I'll try and explain that in every episode going forward. So we'll take the Tornoga team down. It is a little outdated. I think it still works, but there are some newer builds out there at the minute that I would probably suggest running if not. This is spoiler territory of all the teams that we've got this week. Uh, but this is today's team. Should really try and cut those bits out. But I guess it adds a little excitement for what we've got coming this week. So, um, 
battle spot has done its magic and here is the code for today's team my friends hopefully you have a lot of fun with it i think it's a great build myself personally um and I, i've had a lot of fun playing it uh the only thing that we really didn't get to see today was the indeedy of course and then the primarina uh both make a lot of sense in this team like the primarina gives you a lot of kind of stability against threatening fire type attacks that give up almost not and the cosmo a little bit of a hard time primarina as well gives you a nice switch into things like Kyogre if you're in a tight spot along with your bomber snow and you've got that kind of double grass stab there that can help deal with it the assault vest just gives primarina a bit more longevity and it hits like an absolute truck as well so there is a team have a lot of fun with it hope you enjoy it if you do try it out as always please leave a comment down below and i know i've been a bit sketchy with getting back and replying to comments the last couple of weeks but again had a lot going on outside of the channel which has kind of tied up a lot of my time meaning that i haven't really had the commitment or the time to commit to doing it and it makes me sad a little bit but this week going forward leave a comment and i will make sure to reply to you because i do appreciate the most valuable thing you can give to me and that is your time so have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves and i'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then friends take care and bye bye